Well, hey everybody, it's been a long time. In case some of you don't remember, I'm Eric Faust, Camping Curmudgeon, here at Cool Ring Family RV in Indianapolis, Indiana. I happen to be sitting in a new offering by the genius folks at Grand Design. This is the Imagine 2500 RL. I bought a coach. You know what? I'm thinking about this myself. But ser seriously, I am. Um, uh, my back's a little sore. You know, that's what happens when you get old. Things get sore. Yeah, I know, it sucks. But uh, the good folks at uh, Grand Design, the engineers, the thinking people, you know what? Maybe they're old too because they put in on these seats heat and massage and oh my god this is great you know what if i sit here very much longer they might have to call this camper the happy ending but let's get back to the grand design uh, real quickly uh, grand design was started by two brothers and a good friend of theirs uh, back in 2012. they had been in the rv business for years and years and they saw where it was going you know, let's mass produce, do more mass produce production, and even mass produce even more. And they were losing, uh, they were losing grip on the company that they had founded because it had been bought out by another company. He said, you know what, we need to get back to our roots and let's build quality and comfortable and value driven RVs for our public, for our customers, to get back to our roots. So they start, they sold their stock, and they started Grand Design. And real quickly, I mean, and it's on their website, but uh, Grand Design, on each coach, including this one, everything that you see that Grand Design has made has gone through an independent, unbiased testing facility before it's sent out to the dealerships. In other words, these things undergo a 400-point inspection. Anything's wrong. I mean, something small, like if there was like a, just a little rip in this little valence, or, or you know, like this, this, this cup holder wasn't in just right. It's sent back to the factory and it's fixed. Folks, this is called quality control. What's that mean for you? It means that you're pretty well assured that when you get a camper, you're not going to end up with a POS like there are so many out there. I mean, this is the pinnacle of quality. Again, an individual testing facility, who else does that? Nobody. They pull their campers off the line, maybe one out of every fifth, and they look at it, oh yeah, everything's all right. Ship them. And they go from the factory directly to the dealer. Hey, we'll just leave it up to the dealer to fix. No problem. Who cares if we have pissed off customers? Well, Grand Design said no. That's not gonna happen on our watch. And you know what? They kept to their promises. So anyhow, anyhow back to their newest offering. This is the 2500 RL. This is a couple's coach. If you got a bunch of kids or a bunch of people coming along, no, don't even look at this. Shut the video down right now because this is not the coach you want. Now, if there are just two of you, Maybe, maybe one more, but no, just two of Well, it depends what you're into. But there are just two of you. This is absolutely perfect because, come on, you know, realistically, a lot of us who are middle age or older, yeah, no comments from the peanut gallery. You know, we don't want others to come along. We just want the two of us and our dogs or, or pets, whatever, but, you know, I like my dogs to come along. But so, two people and two dogs or whatever, it's perfect. You know, they're really good. the rest of it, kids and, you know, especially adult kids, and if you're my adult kids listening, get your own damn camper. You're not coming along with me. So, anyhow, this is an awesome camper to pull around. It weighs less than 6,000 pounds. So, What's that mean? It means virtually any half ton pickup truck and a lot of SUVs, you know, they're gonna be able to pull this. 
and a lot of even smaller trucks. You know, a lot of Tacomas will, the Colorados will. I think that even the new uh, Ford Ranger, I'm not for sure on that. I think it'll pull. Now, look, you're not stupid. Look at your owner's manual and see what it'll pull. Again, this weighs 5,800 pounds. Not everything will pull 5,800 pounds. If you've got a four cylinder little truck, you're not gonna pull it. I don't care what your four cylinder says, you're not gonna pull it. So let's be realistic, okay? That's a little disclaimer. So anyhow, I'm sitting here comfortably and I'm gonna give you a tour of this thing. Okay, you saw me sitting on the inside and we're stepping outside a little bit. And I want to show you where I sat and how well this thing is designed. Let's say you and your significant other, hey, you've come back from a long night on the town or maybe a long day shopping or spending it at the beach. You know, look, look what awaits you. Metal steps that are easy to climb, easy to fold in. They'll never rest. Awesome design. You come up, you know what? You want to keep your camper clean, right? Kick off your shoes and put them right under there. That's what Grand Design thinks about. The others don't do that. And I wanna show you where I was sitting, right here, you saw that. Both of these recline, both are heated and they have massage. And then, so we are, while you're, hey, look, it's been a long day. While you've been out, you're sore, you're tired. This 180 degree view right here, look at that. You're kicking back. You've got the Furion surround system going. You're listening to your favorite tunes. And I don't want to hear anything about Michael Buble or anything like that. I mean, you're listening to real rock and roll music. You're kicking back. You're enjoying it. Now, look out that window. Yes, we see other campers. Duh. We're not stupid. But imagine looking at the beach outside this 180 degree view. And actually, I'm going to say a 200 and some degree view because from that vantage point, look, you can look at the slide windows of this U-shaped dinette, which incidentally folds down into a bed. So if you have to bring somebody along, they can sleep there. And oh, by the way, you know what? That table folds down, obviously, to make a bed. But you know what? It'll come outside the camper and you can use it as a picnic table or you can play quarters. Hey, what's that's pretty sweet right there. Now, let's take a look right there. God, look how this thing's lit up. It is beautiful. Hey, this is real dark cherry woodwork put together with mortise and tenon and biscuits. It, this, I tell you, this is a seriously built camper. But any, back to what I was talking about. You've got the large screen TCL TV. I have a TCL TV at home, and I tell you what, these things, beautiful sound, beautiful picture, and in a very intuitive remote, that's important. You'll see why once you get, once you get into one. I'm not going to bore you with that. But you know, another thing they do, they have a convenience center right by the door, just like at home. You know what? Most of your switches on, near your back door, they're going to control everything. You're going to have thermostat there. You're going to have your lighting. You're going to have, you know, pretty much, you know, they design these homes for a reason. Well, Grand Design does the same thing. Everything's right by your door. So as you're leaving or as you're entering, hey, look, you can check your tanks. You can check your battery. You can check you can turn the lights on, turn them off, put the slides in, put the slide back out, put the awning out. Everything's right there. Other coaches, the switches are willy-nilly all over the place. You may have to run up front to put a slide out and then run clear to the back to turn the lights of the slide on. Yes, I've seen that. Okay, back to the coach now. Yes, I'm going to bitch about other brands because I have the right to. Because I know other brands. Now, take a look at this right here. This Furion stove mine. You know what? This is a chef's delight. A glass door in the oven. Nobody else has that. Okay, I'm not going to say nobody else. There's probably somebody else copying off of Grand Design. But Grand Design was the first. Look, you have a seamless countertop. You have a farmer's sink. This is a real kitchen. This isn't just some little heating pad just to warm up a bowl of soup. You can actually cook in here. You know, so let's, let's step back right through here. Look at that. I mean, like I said, a couple's coach. It's just perfect for the two of you. God, what a, you know what? Now, some of you younger people or older people who are getting married or hitching up, would this not make the perfect honeymoon coach? 
Yes, it would. It would make. You're going to be spending a lot of your time in bed. That's what a lot of manufacturers don't realize. This is a full 80 inch queen bed. Taller people can fit in this. You know, and they have a pretty decent mattress. You know, RV manufacturers are not noted for their mattresses. But this is a comfortable place to sleep and hey, engage in other activities. Oh, get your mind out of the gutter. You can put a TV right up here. And while one of you watches sports, another one can catch a movie. All in high definition. All in surround sound. There's plenty of room in here for all of your clothes, all above overhead. You can, you know, you can on either side, check it out. On either side, you have 110 volt and you also have USB ports to uh, you know, recharge your devices like what I'm recording on using my phone. I can set it right here pour it off of it or wash it, whatever, and it'll be recharged. And also, again, back to the 110 volt, you have a CPAP, hey, you know, no problem. And I want to show you another thing. An entrance door. See, this coach has two, it's a two-door coach. Your rear entrance door, that's your main one. And I'm going to get back to the bathroom. I know you've seen it. And you've got this one right up here. So. What's this door for? Well, some might say, uh, you know, it's it, it's a great safety thing in case there's a fire or an accident. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll go with that. But let's say you're on your honeymoon and your significant, your significant others has their annoying relatives in. And they shuffle in and they all sit down all around here and they start blabbering and driving you crazy, right? Well, it'd be kind of rude to well, just walk right out that door. No! You're in here, you hear them. You can say, well, excuse me, I'm using the bathroom. So you shut this pocket door, which again, look at that. This separates the bathroom and the master bedroom from the rest of the coach. You shut that door, right? You come through the bathroom, you make your exit out this door and you go to the nearest pub and enjoy yourself until they get the hell out. Ah, oh, that's great thinking. Okay, now we're going to go back to the bathroom. Look at the shower. You know, you don't have to wrap up like Harry Houdini to be in this shower. I mean, come on. This thing, oh, th this is what's really cool. Nobody else is doing this. A lot of them have glass doors. A lot of them have curtains. But this has kind of got a membrane, and, it, and it's extremely sturdy. But it wipes itself off as it closes. It's kind of like a projector, a projector screen. Now, you younger viewers are not going to know what a projector screen is. We older people, it's like a projector screen turned sideways and it wipes everything off. And it's translucent. So you can't see your significant other taking a shower. That may be good. That may be bad. That's up to you. But now let's step back and take a look. You've got a large stool. This bathroom is not a one cheeker. I mean, come on, Rosie O'Donnell could use that and have plenty of room. And you know, this, uh, speaking of, this thing's so well built, yeah, no problems holding old Rosie. Okay, look right here, all of this room for towels and medicines, uh, shampoos, whatever. Um, I don't know anything about blow dryers, obviously. Now, clear up to the medicine cabinet. So. You have, you have everything in this coach. Again, it's, okay, I've given you a tour of this thing. You know what? I'm not going to bore you with tank capacities and R values and structurally how it's built, although I do want to touch upon that real quickly. You know, you won't see a register in a grand design product on the floor. The grand design people and the engineers believe that, that that kind of usurps the integrity of the floor. And what they do is they vent it out through various strategic points in this coach, and then they blow air down into the underbelly to keep your floor and tanks warm. What's that mean to you? It means that when you get up in the morning on a zero degree day, you're not gonna be walking on an ice cold floor like a lot of campers do. So I just wanted to, I just wanted to stress that to you real quickly. What I'm telling you 
that you will not find a better built camper. You won't find a better value. You won't find a more comfortable camper. You won't find a more practical camper. This travel trailer, again, it's towable by virtually anything. So why don't you come in and take a look at it? Because again, again, it's not for everybody. Two people and their pets. That's where I draw the line. Anybody else? You know what? Use this. Use this real quick. You know what? You don't want your adult kids staying with you. You don't want. You don't want pesky relatives staying with you. Remember this. Ten to drink, six to eat, two to sleep. It's that simple. You keep those rules in mind, and you'll be a happy camper, and you won't be a curmudgeon like me. So hey, I wanted to thank you for spending time with me again. This is Eric Faust, your camping curmudgeon with Colerain RV, Indianapolis, Indiana, sitting in the Grand Design Imagine 2500 RL. Come out and see me.